All right, Ken, thank you. At 746 right now, so infant and pregnancy loss is more common than you may think, unfortunately. Jerome Foster, he founded Jalen's Gift with his wife. And Dr. Joseph Vatashak, you've seen him on our show before from Desert Perinatal Associates, excuse me, are here to talk about how to help parents cope after the fact. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. How you doing? How you doing? Very good, thank okay, you. Okay, so Doc, you know, we've had you on the show many times. I think you're one of the best uh, high-risk pregnancy specialists here in the Valley. I want to address three issues, and then Jerome, I want to talk to you about your experience. The first one is the perspective on uh, your encounters with pregnancy loss uh, and how frequent it happens, also how common it is, and uh, how you are able to deal with it when it does happen. Start with your perspective on these encounters. Well, unfortunately, you know, in our practice, doing high risk, yeah. it's it's uh, more common than people ever think it is mm -hmm. going to be. And, yeah. you know, for example, just last week, we had a patient who's 39 weeks pregnant. She was going to be delivering in a few days and came to the hospital at 1 in the morning and terrible pain and the placenta yeah. had separated. And wow. I came in and we did an ultrasound and there's no heartbeat yeah. and uh, she's just planning on having a baby just yeah. in a couple days. Sometimes and, nature uh, just jumps in oh, and takes over. Yeah and it's yeah. just terrible because people have no idea if things are progressing normally yeah. that the heartbeat can just stop or yeah. something can happen and the baby can die and then of course they have to go through a delivery right whether it's a badge of delivery yeah the yeah. whole thing and now you've diagnosed this but the baby's still inside and now you have to get Deliver the baby out the and do a yeah. whole entire labor yeah. and everything and that's of course where you know Jerome and the organization comes in because yeah. there used to be no sort of you know Foundation. help for yeah. babies who die while still inside and right. of course he'll tell you but yeah. people grieve just as much as they had a As baby, they had died, baby. Of course, yeah, absolutely, yeah. And, absolutely. Yeah. Jerome, that brings me to you. You and your wife, tell us your story. You had you experienced this the loss of a child. Tell yes. us when and how it happened. It happened Thanksgiving weekend in two thousand twelve. Mm. Uh, for us it was just a regular day. My wife and I we were expecting to have our first son, uh, who's gonna be due on my birthday in March. Wow. This after Thanksgiving, she had back pain and we ended up going to the hospital. And the doctor said the words I've never forgotten was that there's no heartbeat. Mm. And it's something that you don't expect. Yeah. When I, the way I'm holding my box is the first thing after the doctor said there's no heartbeat, we had to deliver our son. Yeah. And the first question the nurse asked me afterwards was, actually gave my son, do you want to bury him or cremate him? Oh my gosh, Those I are, can't. I can't even imagine. I can't imagine that. Let's fast forward to uh, Jalen's gift. Because of that experience, yes. you actually, you and your wife and, and Dr. Adeshek, you guys come to uh, the aid and comfort of patients who have gone through this. Open up the box and show everybody what's in it and tell me about Jalen's gift and how you guys help people now who have dealt with what, you're deal what you've dealt with. So Jalen's gift, right now what happens is Whenever there's a loss in the hospital, mm -hmm. uh, the, all the hospitals in Las Vegas, they carry our care packages, yeah, which are assembled. Show, sit, yeah, go ahead. Okay. And all of these items, they're assembled by other families who've had a loss. Okay. We have a little card to let families know that they're not alone. We also have a, we make these scrapbooks with like a certificate, certificate of life. Certificate of life, yeah, we yeah. Take a, we take the footprints and the handprints and we put them That's in here sweet. for the families yeah. and have areas for pictures and, and other things of that nature. Okay. And all these books are made uh, by other families who've had a loss or mm -hmm. by other, uh, by friends in the family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what, these are small items, but yes. I tell you what, I cannot imagine when you're going through something like that, it seems very big. Well, right? before they would just get a hospital, like a little blanket for their baby. And, and that was it. And now, and, and certainly will help with footprints yeah. and naming yeah. the baby and all of these things that they've done. You know, yeah. for the baby. And Very before, cool. Before, nothing was like that. I love this. Yeah. I love this. Okay, how do we get more information? How can we help you out to spread the word? You can find us at jalensgift.org. Okay. J A L E N S, or on Facebook, uh, Jalen's Gift Foundation. All right, wonderful. Doc, thanks for bringing this well, to our attention. Pleasure. I'm glad you thank exist. You. I'm sorry for your loss, thank but you. thank you so much for helping others who are going through the same thing. That's pretty Thanks cool. Thanks for having us. Yeah. All right, it is 7.50 right now. Uh, let's see, Maria, back to you. All right, thank you.